Nearly four years ago, ESPN produced a documentary on a six-year-old boy named Josiah Vieira who loves baseball. Josiah has an extremely rare type of the disease, progeria, where the body prematurely ages. Josiah already beating the odds by making it to 10 years old, and he's had the summer of a lifetime as a member of the State College Spikes. Ladies and gentlemen, the bench coach for the Spikes, number 10, Josiah Vieira. The strength of the State College Spikes this summer wasn't in their bats or their pitching. It was in the heart of Josiah Vieira. From the first time I saw him, he was just a, a wonderful kid, just full of energy, happy all the time. He brings a lot of life to the clubhouse. Um, he's probably one of my favorite parts of, of the day is having him in there in the clubhouse. He'll come up to you and say, hey, you guys got this today. And it's like he, almost he knows something that you don't. <laughs> Josiah met the Spikes at a Children's Miracle Network event in 2013. But this summer, he belonged to the Spikes team in a way he'd never imagined. They just kind of made a home here for him. He got a surprise. We got uniforms for him and has his name on the back. We came in one Saturday, I believe it was, and one of the pitchers came up to me. and He said, hey, did you were in the locker room? And I said, no, not yet. And he said, they got a locker for him in there. Oh, he's doing everything. He's hitting the cages with us. He's playing cars before the game. He'll take her around to BP with us. Oh! Uh, he just does it all. He sits in the dugout with us during the game. Um, gives us little pointers. You might think I'm joking, but he goes in there and he'll question my lineup at times and it'll make me think about it a little bit. But uh, sometimes he agrees with it, sometimes he doesn't. So when I get an approval, I feel pretty good about it. But more than his presence in the clubhouse or the dugout, let's get him. Let's go. It's his spirit that drives the spikes. A boy who has overcome life threatening infection and surgeries. A fighter who will live in the hearts of the spikes forever. It doesn't matter about winning or losing for him as much as it is just playing the game and being a part of it. You see the how blessed you are by well, you know, seeing what he's gone through and seeing his attitude. He has such a character about him for such a young guy. He's truly somebody to look up to. They all say he's his good luck charm, but uh, I kind of tell him, like, look, I know that you know you like good luck charm, but I hope he inspires you to play baseball just to be the best you can be and look at the struggle that he went through and fought through because he's not supposed to be with us. God pulled him through it and I give him the credit for that and uh, he gave him back to us for a reason. And if it's just for this time here with these guys, that's what it's for because he just loves baseball. So a lot of people think we're doing something for him and they're absolutely wrong. Um, but he's, he's done a lot for us and we've learned a lot from him um, and having him in that clubhouse is is very important to me. Josiah's just been a, a key part of what we've done this year and if, if we do anything this year, go ahead and, and make sure that he gets a, he gets a championship.